Hello guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to actually do a video about VCE Chinese second language oral exams. Um, as per a lot of requests from my previous students in Australia, um, and I know next week, uh, normally is the mid of October until the end of October, you will be having your language oral examinations. Uh, that's gonna be before the written exams so you don't have a lot of time before your oral exams so uh, I'm thinking I might just do a video about uh, Chinese second language oral examinations tips so before you actually go into that exam rooms so you know what to prepare and how to prepare yourself uh, within that 10 minutes of oral exams so basically I prepared eight tips for you guys to actually have some better ideas before you actually start your oral examinations next week. Okay, let's get started. Tip number one, make sure be well prepared. What I mean by well prepared is you need to actually practice your general conversation questions a lot. Okay, so I believe most of your teachers, if you're doing a second language, they will actually provide you with a list of general conversation questions. The, the topics actually covered from um, yourself, the school life, the hobbies, and all sorts of topics that's on the study design. All those actually general conversation questions, they are actually drawn from all those themes, topics, and subtopics. So give yourself plenty of time, try to practice each one of those general conversation questions because this is the first part of your oral exams. So you want to actually give the examiners a good first impression by having a really smooth conversation when you first start it. The next thing you have to remember is to memorize your script. What I mean memorize is actually reading your script thousands times until actually your whole script is actually implanted into your head so it doesn't matter under which situation if you feel nervous if you feel like i might forget my script scripts or my speech at some point during the exams don't be afraid that's why you need to actually memorize the script so in that exam rooms any situation can happen so you want to make sure everything's in here. Uh, so it doesn't matter what the examiner is asking you, you can always say something about your research area and all the topics you've been like preparing for. Now, on study design, your teacher might told you this. Uh, it says you need to spend at least 15 hours on your detailed study, which is also your oral examinations, they have a different name. So on study design, they call that detailed study, but it's actually your oral examinations. So there is a reason behind it, why you need to spend so many hours just to research on one topic that's, that's of your choice, because examiners was trying to see if you've done your research, and also they want to see if you actually prepared yourself around this topic, any particular area they want to ask you, you you have to provide a certain amount of information around this topic so they can see actually you did really a thorough research around this topic. Now, this is not tip number one. Uh, so tip number two, before you actually enter the exam rooms, make sure you knock on the door because there will be two examiners sitting in the exam rooms so before you enter, you'll be seated in the waiting room next door. So they will call your name, so you come to the exam rooms. Basically, sometimes, sometimes the exam room door is closed. So what you have to do is make sure you knock it, and when the examiner's inside told you to come in, and then you can come in. So this is a way to show your politeness and your manner. Sometimes the door is open, so just ask their permission before you come in. So I want to make sure actually the students are showing respect to the examiners, which is part of our culture. If you're doing Chinese language, 
the culture aspect will be also incorporated in this course. So you want to show some understanding of the culture. You want to show some respect to your examiners. Tip number three, make sure you arrive 30 minutes before your exam time. Because normally when you're in that waiting room, most people feel really nerve wracking and nervous. So what you can do, arrive early, give yourself some time, and then try to make sure you calm down and you take a deep breath. And then what you have to do is actually review one more time, the last time of your script and try to read through or skimming through your script and check all the research areas you have and check all the topics you've covered and even go through the general conversation questions. Just give yourself one last time to review all the materials you have before you enter the room. Tip number four, remember your student ID and make sure you bring your cue card. So normally in your ex oral examinations, you're allowed to bring in one cue card. The size will be half of a A4 paper. So what you have to do is actually on the cue card, you're allowed to write single words, single characters and very short phrases just to remind you during the exam what you want to say and basically give you some ideas for each area of your research but you're not allowed to write full sentences on the cue card so before you start your oral examinations two examiners will actually check your cue card if the examiners reckon you write too much on your cue card they will actually confiscate your cue card so you will not be able to use it. So make sure when you prepare your cue card, it's very brief and on only single word, some words or like some short phrases to remind you. Just give yourself like a sense of comfort. I've also got students who is very confident and who is also very well prepared. When she entered that exam rooms, she just put the cue card on the table and telling the examiners, I don't actually need the cue card. I don't need to look at it. So I've got everything ready, which means she's just showing her confidence to the examiners. They would like to see this as well. That's a very good first impression. So she know what she's doing and she know her stuff. So this 10 minutes or examination is basically a showcase. Tip number five. Prepare how to ask examiners to repeat the questions in the language you're doing. There will be two examiners sitting in front of you, face to face in one small room. You might feel nervous sometimes. You might not be able to catch all the questions they ask. You might just don't understand the question they ask or you simply they ask something you haven't prepared. Do not panic. So you need to learn how to ask your examiners to repeat or actually rephrase their question just for you to understand and then you can actually answer that question correctly um, don't worry about the examiners because normally those two examiners those two examiners they are very friendly and they're very nice because they want to actually encourage students to all take a second language subject in their high school journey they will be very encouraging uh, so what you have to do is to relax and to just to show them what you've got and try to express yourself in the best way you can in the second and target language tip number six be confident we all know there's a old saying uh, fake until you make it in this scenario is the same thing what you have to do before you enter that room tell yourself you've done enough research you've prepared yourself all the conversation questions and you've prepared your detailed study for a long time you know this topic very well even other areas around this topic you've done your research you prepare your script you know what to say so be confident. In order to be confident, in order to showcase your language skills, before you need to actually spend quite a long time to work on improving 
your tones, your pronunciation, and also your reason when you talk. Uh, in your school, I believe your teacher would help you with that. Just try to record yourself with your speech. Then ask your teacher to listen to your recordings and give you some feedback and comments on your tones, pronunciation, grammar, sentence structure, even paragraphs, topic, sentence, and your reason. Are you making flow? So this is very important to build up your confidence in the exam rooms. When those examiners listen to you, when they hear you've been practicing, they can easily tell you worked hard on your script and your detailed study. So they might just give you a very good score based on your effort. Tip number seven, always, always try to lead this conversation between you and those two examiners. There's often situations like those two examiners ask you a question you've never prepared for or you've never done research on. So what you have to do, you will need to try to answer all the questions back to your area, back to the areas you've done research on, back to the areas you've been prepared. Drag all those questions into the topic that you're familiar with. So you have something to say, otherwise you don't want to just stop there and being silent. That's not a good sign for the examiners to see because they expect you to spend 15 hours on one single topic and do enough research, collect and gather all the materials around this area and interpret them into a target language in a very fluent way. So what you want to do is actually drag all these questions that you're not familiar with back into the areas you've been prepared and you've been researched on. So you have something to say. The last tip, tip number eight, do not stop talking first. Every question the examiners ask you, you need to have enough opinions and views to express. Because that way you're showing the examiners you've done your research and preparation. You know your area very well and you have a lot of things to say. You've never run out of topics to say. Because when they want to stop you, when they actually hear what they want to hear and when they get your point, the examiners will actually stop you. You do not have to stop yourself before they actually stop you. It's an oral examination. They want to hear, they want to listen to what you're saying, they want to actually listen to your language expression and skills. So do not stop talking first. Okay, above all are the eight tips that I summarized just for you to actually prepare your oral examinations better. I know next week all the languages, including Chinese second language, you will actually have your oral examinations so I wish you all the best and try to review your script as many times as you can and try to think about those eight tips. I hope these tips will help you to succeed in your oral examination. Like this video, subscribe. Uh, I'll actually post more educational videos based on my teaching experience. I hope you can actually get something out of it.